purpose of this video is to discuss the 1735 and installing the USB drivers. Uh, one of the things that as a tech support person on the 1735 that I've experienced is that uh, people have problems uploading the data and connecting the 1735 to their computer. Uh, one of the principal things is that the instrument will have a black dot in the top left hand corner up in this region when you're recording and the 1735 cannot communicate with your computer when it's in a recording mode so you should stop the recording by pushing the record measure button. At that point the meter will go from the record mode out into the measure position and it's ready to be talked to by your computer. Once that's done you, you simply take the USB cable and you plug it into your USB port and I have the device manager open because that's, that's the place that you want to be when you're looking at devices on your computer. You'll notice that the, the device manager is showing other drives and it has a USB serial port item in that section meaning that the computer recognizes the device but it doesn't know what it is so a driver has to be installed. For uh, purposes of making the video quicker, I've already had the drivers available in the computer, so the computer has updated on its own, and now you can see a 1735 listed under the ports directory with a COM port 16. Uh, a problem with COM 16 is that the PowerLog program would prefer the port have COM 9 or smaller, so we need to modify this, and this is a common issue with our customers. So if you double click on that item, it'll open up a properties window and then you want to go to the top of the properties window and click on the port settings. From there you go to advanced, this button right here, and you click on it and it'll bring up the advanced settings and here at the top in this example it'll say COM16 and you want to click on the drop down arrow. I commonly use COM2 because it's normally available. So if we scroll up the list, in this case I've used it in a previous video, so I'm going to overwrite that, which is fine. The operating system will respond to that, giving me a message that it's a problem, but I know it's not, so I'm going to say yes to that. And in the background, the device manager is accepting the change, and now the 1735 is as a COM port number 2, and it's ready to be used. If you don't have the Windows 7 driver, the system will update and show you that you need a 64-bit version of the driver. I have already have a, a version of the web page which is uh, fluke.com, support, software downloads, power quality. That's the page I'm on now. And I've scrolled down the page to show the heading of the 1735. If you look down this list, down to this point right here, it talks about the Windows 7 driver for 64-bit operating systems. So once you install this driver, then the Windows 7 driver will install and work properly with your 1735 on the Windows 7 application.